The Colburn Dance Academy was really something that Benjamin Millipier came up with. He connected with Sel Cardin, the, the president of the Colburn School. He called my wife Jennifer Ringer and told us about this amazing school that was out here in Los Angeles. It was an oasis of art, of excellence, and we were in. We were hooked. The vision of the Colburn Dance Academy is really to have a strong elite ballet program, but then to also be well-rounded artists by exploring art, exploring music, exploring other genres of dance. Everything that we felt that we didn't get as students, we wanted to put into this program. We don't want dancers going into the world and having flat performances and, and just being ballet dancers. We want them to be able to bring all the richness and artistry of outside experiences to their performing and to their dancing and to their classroom work. I really like repertory class because we get to learn like real balancing ballets taught from people who perform them. The teachers here, they really push you because they know in order for you to succeed, they've been in your shoes. The Colburn Dance Academy is really a unique program because number one, you have only 12 students. It's almost like private lessons in the classes because it's a small group and you can give a lot of individual attention, which as a teacher is really a, a joy. I never feel as if I'm just entering the studio and teaching a class for a group of kids. I feel that I really know each student and I'm able to work on specific things that they need in the same class. We get to teach to the needs of the students. It really lends itself to great mentorship. I really like men's class because it's just me and Nick in a room and you can't get away with anything. <laughs> I feel like I improve so much just in one session. All of us are like a family, so I feel as though we can learn even more. Also because there's only 12 of us, you get a lot more attention. I don't really find myself repeating myself. I feel like each time I come in, I can take it to the next level. And that's really the moment of a creative process. The amount of improvement that we've all exhibited, it's just like pretty darn cool. One of the things I love about the Colburn School is that already there's a tradition of excellence in music and then to bring dancers into the mix, you know, we have live music in our classes and our dancers get to interact with these musicians and it brings their level of dedication up. I really like the music class and learning piano because I didn't realize how technically difficult it is. I think we all have a deeper appreciation and respect for our pianists. You see our dancers eating lunch out on the promenade with uh, these wonderful musicians and then they're in class excelling at their own art form. I live with other musicians so I feel like their dedication to music motivates me into being a better dancer even though we aren't in the same kind of art. I feel like a very motivated teenager. Not only are we giving them all the typical traditional ballet training, they're also taking classes like Untapped which is to work on their rhythm and syncopation. They're gonna be taking street dancing classes. They're taking drama classes. We're providing such a rich environment so that not only do they become great dancers, they become real leaders in the field. We're in the cultural hub of Los Angeles. We're like a few steps away from MoCA and the concert hall's right there. And the fact that we are able to access anywhere in downtown really can feed into our artistry. We bring in master guest teachers currently working in the field today. We go out to performances. We bring them to dress rehearsals so that they get to see the behind the scenes. We go to the museum and we dissect a piece of art and really see how the artist worked on it. Going to MoCA once a month is, I think, really important for us because the more art you have in your vocabulary and in your mind helps you in your dancing and in your life. We come down to the LA Dance Project space for contemporary dance every Saturday. And one thing that I like about it in comparison to the Colburn Studios is how bare it is here. It's not like super structured and it's so relaxed the environment. It allows you to become more of yourself rather than another character. Charlie and I have been working with the Academy students on transitioning their ballet technique and their classical training to really expand upon what their bodies can do. They're highly trained but you can't just throw them on the floor and say roll around or improvise and expect their bodies to be like, that's recognizable. It's a bit of a foreign territory. We're so used to being confined to like the strict posture and rules of ballet. You kind of get to find your own way to kind of improvise. Contemporary dance allows me to apply my ballet technique, apply my modern technique, then get into my raw gut and my performative mode. It just marries all those things. What I like to emphasize is musicality. 
efficiency and clarity. The musicality above all. I want their bodies to sing when they dance. I find myself telling the dancers to see where their eyelashes are located, where their fingernails are, are reaching for. It's finding those little details in between the steps that will help them not only master the technique of ballet, but become beautiful artists. A typical Colburn Dance Academy student is a thoughtful student. You can see them really processing and executing dance in an improved way every time we get in class. It's really just knowing how to give them specifics. Again, we're using our bodies, and so each dancer is going to have a specific challenge. Sometimes it's feet, sometimes it's arms, sometimes it's head and neck, sometimes it's the whole picture. I see their brain firing just as much as their bodies. To be able to do that in a really tight-knit group, I feel like they're taking some bigger risks. We've been able to give these students such an amazing experience, and I see them soaking it up. They, they come into class every day, clear-eyed, enthusiastic, ready to work. James and I wanted to create our dream ballet program. We feel like we've been able to do it here at Colburn. When Benjamin Millipier contacted us, he talked about the well-rounded experience that he had training in Lyon. He's somebody that not only became a great dancer, but now is a true leader. We think that his training and his experiences as a student supported him in that incredible rise. And that's what we want for our Colburn Dance Academy students. I cannot possibly think of any other school with such different aspects of dance and art in general. A lot of people, they would go to a really prestigious ballet school, but she wouldn't get the contemporary class and the untapped and going to the museum every month and being able to be around incredible musicians who inspire you or in the same place as you. I feel like we're really just the luckiest teenagers in the entire country.